TBS News, I'm Rosine Park. North Korea has fired what appeared to be a ballistic missile into the East Sea. It's the second show of force by the regime so far this year. Aron Cheng has the latest. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said it detected the launch of the suspected ballistic missile from an inland area in the north at 7.27 a.m. The missile landed in waters between the Korean Peninsula and Japan, the JCS said, adding that it's working closely with the United States to further analyze the launch and monitor military movements in the north. Less than a week ago, Pyongyang claimed that it successfully fired a hypersonic missile, also in violation of UN Security Council resolutions that banned the north from ballistic missile and nuclear testing and development. This latest provocation comes after the U.S. and five of its allies, including France, the U.K. and Japan, urged the North on Monday to abandon its weapons program. They issued the joint statement ahead of the Security Council's closed consultations of the North's January 5th missile launch. The Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency has reported 3,097 new COVID-19 cases and 43 additional deaths. All but 284 of the infections that were confirmed in the previous 24 hours were local transmissions. Uh, the health agency also reported 43 more virus-related fatalities, raising the death toll to 6,114. Offering a positive side amid the ongoing health crisis, a number of critically ill COVID-19 patients in ICUs fell below 800 for the first time in over a month. Although infection rates and serious and fatal cases have steadily declined in recent days amid tighter social distancing rules, government and health authorities warn that the ultra-contagious Omicron variant of the coronavirus still poses a threat and may spread rapidly in the country in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, nearly 50 percent of adults age 18 and up in the country have received their COVID-19 vaccine booster. Over 21.4 million people, or 48.5 percent of the adult population, have received an additional dose, according to the KDCA. For the entire population, the rate stood at 41.8 percent and 81.6 percent for seniors and uh, people age 60 and older. The head of Pfizer says that he expects a COVID vaccine targeting the more transmissible Omicron variant to be ready in March. Chief Executive Officer Albert Burla told CNBC, I don't know if we'll need it. I don't know if and how it will be used. He said the existing regime of two vaccine shots and a booster has provided reasonable protection against serious health effects from Omicron. And doctors in the U.S. have carried out the first successful transplant of a pig's heart into a human patient. The animal was genetically modified to reduce the chance of the transplanted organ being rejected. Dr. Bartley Griffith, who performed the surgery, said the procedure was potentially game-changing. What everybody wants, right, is not to be limited simply by the supply of human organs for transplant. A number of the organs can be treated and used in this way from a, an animal and can be commercialized basically as a drug, right? If that's true, we will obviously change the face of what's possible for people who now wait years. That's all the news for now. You're listening to TBS EFM.